Uh, I want to start, if I may, just with a very simple question of uh, what, what, what is Shutterstock and uh, how did it originate and uh, where did the name come from? Sure. Uh, Shutterstock, I, I started Shutterstock in 2003. It was a side project, actually. It was a side project uh, to help uh, 10 other companies that I had previously started that all needed imagery. It was 2003 and it was pretty hard to get uh, commercially licensed imagery for the web. Uh, and I started shooting images myself. I put them on this kind of side project website. I called it Shutterstock at the time. It was a name that was available and kind of uh, evoked a, uh, the, the, the feeling that I, I wanted to have for the product, um, which was a subscription product, all you can download. The images were royalty free. You pay for them once, you can use them anywhere in the world. Um, uh, yeah, and, and what happened was that uh, side project became bigger than the other 10 companies. Closed down the other 10, focused on Shutterstock, and here we are 18 years later, a $4 billion public company. I think I read that you had uh, taken 100,000 photographs in one year to uh, build the, uh, the bank, but you were kind enough to the public to edit them down to 30,000 before you went uh, commercial, right? Yeah, I, uh, I bought a camera. I knew I needed to start the marketplace somehow. I had the chicken and egg kind of issue that all marketplaces have. You need uh, the buyers and the sellers. Uh, you need the uh, the product before the buyers come in and buyers aren't coming until you have the product. So decided I could probably figure it out. So I went around with a camera, got people to sign model releases, got property releases, got commercially released images on a website and started selling the first subscription stock photography product. How did, how did you uh, come up with the notion of doing it on a subscription basis? Because I think previously uh, stock photography had been sold on a kind of per item basis, right? Uh, but you, you, you completely threw out that model. Yeah, it was, um, it was early on. It was my own experience. I was, I was um, iterating on a lot of different uh, marketing kind of mechanisms to sell my other products, which were software products. So I needed imagery of, that would convey feelings or that would um, describe certain situations. Um, and they were often generic photos that um, you know, people can use to describe other situations as well. Um, they could be as simple as you know, uh, early e-commerce, like someone looking at their credit card and typing in the, the number on a keyboard. Um, really simple images that didn't exist yet. Um, and I needed a lot of them. And so uh, it was early on in the internet the advertising models were, were pretty new um, and a subscription just made sense. It was, I needed several images a day. I didn't want to negotiate price for each one. Um, I didn't want to have to call somebody up. Uh, and so that's what I did. I made it at the time it was like 40 or $50 a month for any one of my images, which um, they weren't that great, honestly, but they did the job. <laughs> and before I hand over to Michael uh, to continue the, uh, the discussion, um, you know, it's sort of interesting that uh, you, you had these, I think you said nine other companies that you'd already founded before, before this one. And um, what were those companies about? And how did you know that this company was the one that was better than all of the others? Yeah, they were all software based companies. Windows was the dominant platform at the time. Uh, the Mac hadn't really uh, Apple hadn't really made its way into um, personal computing the way they have today. Um, so I focused on the Windows platform. This was, you know, late 90s. I was still in, in school. Um, I started creating uh, uh, software products that I would have liked myself. Personal firewalls that prevented people from hacking into your computer. Um, cookie managers to make sure that... Um, uh, you, you were, you were aware of who was tracking you and where they were tracking you, what they were doing with your information. Um, a lot of these themes, it's funny, uh, still exist today. Um, and it's become kind of a chicken and mouse, uh, cat and mouse kind of, kind of game for those, um, uh, businesses to continue to evolve and kind of, uh, uh, do that. But at, at the time, my image business was, was way ahead of all the software businesses. So I decided to focus on, on the image business at that time. 